All right, episode 496 with Kate and myself is brought to you by our store. Our store has really, really awesome cutting edge products you're not going to find anywhere else. We just added the Magnetico sleeping pad. We did a show with Dr. Dean Bonley all about magnetism and how that benefits your health. We have this Scalar Energy Rest Shield from Ken Rolla. Just been added recently along with the Andrea Sacred Seed Oils, which helps to deliver oxygen to the center of the cell. We have the Soul CBD oils, which I believe are the most powerful, potent CBD oils on the market. We've got organic bedding, green juice powders, organifi green juice powders. We've got earthing, uh, grounded bed sheets. We've got the Rapid Release Pro. We've got the Vitalizer Plus, which helps to structure and vitalize your water. We've also got the best immune system support supplement on the planet, Beta Glucan from Better Way Health. We also got organic, non-toxic, chemical-free, heavy metal-free cookware, grounded shoes, grounded sandals. We have Barf World Dog Food, the Biomat, the Rebounder, the Sauna, the Qigong Course, all kinds of stuff in our store. So make sure to check that out. All kinds of cool stuff we're adding on a re- on a regular basis. So make sure to check that out. And we're also brought to you by Amazon.com. Thank you guys so much for buying through our Amazon link. We are so appreciative of that. And just so you know, nothing changes on your end. When you make a purchase on Amazon, it doesn't have to be health related. You can buy anything you want on there. But if you go through our link first, we'll get a little credit for that. And that helps keep the show free. And if all of you guys do that, that is such a huge help to help us pay all of our bills and eventually get internet access in our studio. So maybe we can do live video feeds one day and all this cool stuff that we're doing. So thank you for your support on Amazon. A lot of people are bookmarking that link now too and using the bookmark every single time they make a purchase. So that really, really helps us a lot. So thanks for thinking of the work that we do here at Extreme Health Radio before you make any Amazon purchases. So we appreciate that so, so much. Looking at me, I'm kind of creepy. <laughs> no, I was waiting for you to speak. Oh, but you didn't speak. I'm sorry, I didn't speak because I was I was zoning out here online, seeing what what Papa I have don't to speak. I'm tracking something for your mother. Oh, Papa really? Don't speak. <laughs> Good Madonna reference. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Good that. 90s or 80s. When is, when was that? That's in the 80s. That's oh, it's hilarious. coming down outside. It is pouring. You. Wow. Today, I You're love excited it. Excited about this? Oh my gosh, I love it. Do you like it? I do. Good. I do. You know, I have to say. Uh, I'm becoming more interested in in the rain and enjoying <laughs> the cold weather. Be more interested in the rain. I am. I, I used to hate the rain. Oh gosh! Even who you were two years ago is this pretty. F- yeah, you're kind of embracing it. You're kind of going with life now, aren't you? Mm-hmm. That's I pretty am. cool. Yeah, it's cool. Right on. Could Would you, you live somewhere where it rained all the time? Well, we're thinking about Oregon. We're thinking about it. Yeah, we're Could thinking you, about. It. I don't. Are you know. still thinking about it? Um, I kind of am. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of in the back of my mind. Um, yeah. it's going to come to a head, I think when we, when we have to, mm-hmm. but then again, I've heard things about Oregon too, that they're going to be Are you talking about the, um, forced vaccinations vaccines? as well. Yeah. Hmm. Well, see that would stink to move to Oregon, wouldn't it? And then all of a sudden you realize a year or two later that they'd have forced vaccinations. <laughs> you know? It's like an evil joke. Not yeah. that Oregon isn't great for anyone living in Oregon. I, I think Oregon would be awesome, but Knowing you and me and our, we don't love, love being cold. Mm-hmm. We're not those body types, I don't think. So yeah. it would stink to move up there, give up the sun and our love for the beach and being on the coast. And that's okay if if you sacrifice it for something better, like your children's health or something like that. Right. But that would suck if we get up there and then it's like, ha ha, now they're here too. Joke's on you. Yeah. It's hard to come back to California, I think, once you leave. People say that. Just financially? Yeah. 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 But, you know. Probably there's not. a will, there's a way. That's right. Hey, maybe it's time to change it up, though. Who knew? Who knows? I don't know where I could live. Gosh, the dogs are going crazy in What here. are they doing? Let's I think they're... Calm down, little ladies. I think because it's rainy day and they're going nuts, though. They're, they're cabin fever. Going stir crazy. See, what do people do with dogs? <laughs> Maggie's rolling around on the carpet. <laughs> what do people do with dogs that live in the rain, like Seattle and Portland? And Well, that's my, why my brother never wanted one, because it would just be wet all the time. Mm. You know? Yeah. Um, but did they get them? They have to walk them anyway, right? 
I guess, unless they have a big yard and they just keep them outside. Just take them out no matter what. Oh, they are stir crazy. Maggie, what are you doing? She's she's a handful. (laughs) So happy almost Christmas. I know. It's uh, less than, what is it, a few days away now. It's the 22nd. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty awesome. Yeah, it's creeped us up, creeped up on us really quickly. <laughs> it creeps it? us out, I thought you were going to say. <laughs> yeah, it always does every year. Yeah. I'm not ready for it. No. I love the season. I just want it to, I wish Christmas could be like, I, I wish Christmas Day could be stretched out over like a week. Just yeah. to feel that every morning. Like People must love Hanukkah, right? When they do Hanukkah yeah. presents and stuff. You get to do stuff throughout a long period of time. Yeah, that would be cool. Christmas just comes and goes, Christmas Day. It's kind of sad. I know, right? But I love it. It's cozy. It's rainy. I'm drinking tea. What could I not love? I've been, uh, as you know, I've been into, really been into oh, Shaga tea lately. talk about this. Yeah. So this is, this is like something. I'm a budding herbalist over here. You are a budding herbalist. You <laughs> are. I'm so impressed with you. Charlie's so, trying to jump into the sauna. Geez. If you, if we can, we may have to zip that up a little bit. Our dogs are, okay, I'll go do that while you start talking about your tea. Tell the good world about your tea that the, you've been making. The good, the, the good world? Well, I've just been really into Shaga, like just the, you know, medicinal mushroom teas lately. I'm going to make, um, Rishi today, I think. Now that I'm not going to go out. Do we have that? Yeah, I'm going to make Rishi. Cool. Yeah. Staying indoors and making some tinctures, making yeah. some teas. Yeah, so I'm really excited about it. I don't know what it is. I watched a whole bunch of interviews, or not interviews, but videos by Su- Susan. Susan Reed? Su- Susan Weed. Weed, not Reed, yeah. Um, And she talks a lot about making herbal infusions. Do you know the difference between herbal infusion and just a regular tea? Is an infusion like the essence of the plant? Kind of like a flower essence where you're like extracting out the like depths of the plant or the mushroom. Wetness. It's not watered down. Is the essence of water. We can't go one. And water is the essence of life. <laughs> <laughs> we can't go one podcast without a Zoolander <laughs> reference. Oh, brother. Es- water is the essence of wetness. That is um, so ridiculous. Whoever, whoever wrote that should win an award. One of the best um, movies of all time. No, an herbal infusion. Dang, it is nuts out here. I can't even believe it. I feel like it's like. I don't know if you can I feel hear like that it's in the coming background. into our house. Probably not. Good uh, thing we moved. It would be coming into our old place for sure. A regular tea is just a little bit of uh, medicine, a little bit of herb uh, tea um, infused into the water for a short amount of time. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, a couple minutes. You let it steep. An infusion is a lot of tea or a lot of the medicine, the herb, and a minimal amount of water over a long period of time. Okay. So it's like filling up a half a mason jar with, and, uh, more uh, of the reishi or the chaga than well i don't water. think you can make a, a herbal infusion from reishi or chaga because mm. those have to be boiled okay for a, a long period of time but okay. with like li- like little leafy grassy herbs wispy, and things, herbs. wispy like leaves mm-hmm. and things you can make an herbal infusion and let it sit overnight okay and uh you put like a, a one ounce by weight huh. of whatever tea you're doing into a mason jar it usually covers half the mason jar okay um but they're great. They contain a lot of protein, all your minerals and vitamins. Um, and it looks, it's so powerful to do. Wow. Yeah. So when you were saying we need to buy, so what's the deal? You go buy organic um, vodka. Uh huh. And then wh- why does it have to sit for so long? Didn't you say you could put the, the infusion? So you put the mushrooms. So basically you'd soak the mushrooms that you've already boiled down to make water teas. Yeah, you're talking about something different now. Oh, what are you talking about? I'm talking about herbal infusions. Infusions. Oh, now we're talking about tinctures. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you've been making infusions. You haven't been making tea. I haven't been done infusions yet. Oh, okay. This is a whole you're new journey. You're confusing me over there. Whole new journey. Okay. Um, so when are you doing that? Over Christmas break? Well, no, we have to buy the uh, herbs. We get them from Mountain Rose Herbs, and we have to buy the one-pound bags I see. of the herbs from them. I got so it. So we haven't done any infusions yet. Right, but you've done... What would you say, like medicinal teas out yeah. of the mushrooms? Out of the mushrooms. Got it. So what I've been doing is taking, I don't know, like a handful of shaga mushroom and putting it into about 128 ounces of water. Okay. About. Which is like two <laughs> two Vitamix. Well, I, I don't measure <laughs> no, it just funny. perfectly. Uh-huh. Um, two Vitamix is full? Yeah, which is ours is about 48 ounces. So okay. I just fill two of those up and then I boil the shaga in there uh, for about a half hour. Okay. And then, uh, and then after that, I turn it on low or medium, put the lid on it, let it steep for another couple hours, and I'll refill all the way up with uh, with water again. We may have to put the dogs in the other room because they're going to start playing. We'll see how they go. Um, and and then I'll let it sit overnight. I'll turn it off before bed and I'll let it just cool naturally overnight. 
So you can leave them out. It's not like they grow like a mold spore or anything. No, no. Do they have to be covered? No. Okay. You don't even have to leave them out overnight. It's just that it's easier to work with when once the water's cold again. Okay. Um, so this vodka. Now you're onto the vodka. You tell want, me about this. really want to get to the vodka. Well, I just realized on my really way home from work want tonight. To get to the vodka. On my way home from work tonight, there's a Bevmo, and I bet they have what we're looking for: the organic vodka. Oh, okay. Yeah, if we I'm really get... looking forward to the vodka. It's only eleven in the morning. I got problems. <laughs> um, <sighs> yeah, no, we want eighty proof or hundred proof. Okay. Organic. Okay, vodka. eighty proof. That's right, eighty or hundred proof organic. Yeah. Okay, and then you put it into little tinctures or, or do you do you put that into a mason jar like a ton of that and let it soak for a long time with the mushrooms so you can do it in a few different ways but yeah you put uh, uh, basically put the dried herb that you use to make the water tea from are we doing this with a mushroom yeah we'll okay. do this with the shaga okay. and the reishi um and we'll and you'll just fill up um the vodka over the over the reishi or the shaga just, just so it's covered just so it's covered uh put a little tag on it put the date on it put what it is mm-hmm. so you know what it is and how long it's been and usually you want to let it sit for about 30 days okay, uh, or 60 days. But you can let it sit for any amount of time you want. It just okay. becomes stronger. So then you um, then you just let it sit and kind of twice a day you kind of stir it around and move it around. And uh, and then that's it. Okay. And then after 30 days or 60 days, you strain it off and you put it in and you, and you can put it into tincture bottles and just... It's just like a regular regular tincture. So if you leave it longer, I'm just curious, if you leave it 60 days versus 30, is it like more powerful or something? Yeah, I think it just continues to extract the, the medicines from the herb, okay. which is cool. So you do? are you doing chaga and reishi separate or are you combining them? I could combine them together, but I think I'll just do them separate. You couldn't call it a shirishi. <laughs> shirishi. <laughs> I love like combining it. <laughs> I could call it a shirashi tincture. <laughs> This is my shirashi tincture. People are like, what the hell is that? Yeah. Wow. Okay. This makes me happy though. You've, you've busted out some pretty good teas a couple nights in a row. So you bust, you'll, you'll do that base of the mushroom tea you make right. with a packet of the four sigmatic mushroom. What do we have? Cordyceps or lion's mane or the, shaga or reishi? Yeah. Do they have any other ones? I don't know. I That's about the might. big four. So you put one of those packets in there, stir it around, and then you add liquid stevia drops? Yeah. This is stinking good. It looks like black as night coffee. Doesn't it? So good. Yeah. So when I make the shaga mushrooms, for those that are listening, I'll make the shaga mushrooms and I'll put them all in mason jars and it might make, you know, three or four full mason jars full, put them in a fridge and then in the evening I'll take, you know, just a mason jar, fill up my coffee mug with it and then put that into our tea maker and bring it to a boil and then pour it back into my mug and then add the 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 four mushroom sigmatic food thing, I like and then those. the reishi, or and then the I'm sorry, the liquid stevia. Four sigma, four sigmatic or whatever is not Dan Vitalis's company, is it? No, but he used to sell those. I thought so. Yeah, kind of repped them or something. I don't know how they do that. It's like a dual extraction herb already, so they combine them together. Okay, but it's a powder. I don't know how that's even possible. But they do, do it. Do they add? Ste- I think they add some kind of stevia to them, don't they? Yeah, they, they like taste doable on licorice their licorice root and stuff. Licorice and, root, anise, yeah. or something. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, yum. I'm drinking cranberry tea right now for the old bladder, urinary tract. Oh, look at you! I know. Cranberry tea is it good? Cranberry everything. Um, yeah, it it's just like a slight flavor. It doesn't have like a super strong anything. Can I see it? You have any more? I left? just drank it, but you can see how it was kind of pink in there. Oh, yeah. That's interesting. It's really good. I mean, I don't mind it. I don't add anything. It's just straight cranberry. I'd never done organic, just straight cranberry tea before. Yeah. All it has is cranberry, and I think I said a little bit of elder, not elderberry, maybe chamomile. What are the constituents in cranberry that uh, that are good for you? What is that stuff? Oh, mag... Uh, manos? Like de- demonos? Demonos, yeah. Demonos, yeah. Yeah. I take the pills, too, but then every time I feel like I'm starting to get the... This is crazy. I used to get a bladder, like a urinary tract infection, like... I had them ever since I was a little kid. Really? And I'd get one, probably one a year. And then as I became older, I'd probably get a couple a year. And it was always antibiotics, antibiotics. Really? Yeah. So and then... How the, many from what time did they start? Or what... I mean, what I mean, little kids life? can get them. No, but what point in your life did you get them? Oh, probably like 11, 12 kind of thing. Really? Yeah, it's so weird. So right at puberty, t- puberty time? Yeah, I guess. That's wild. Um... So where, where was I going with that story? Oh, but you used to get them twice a year. Oh, yeah. And you used to take antibiotics and all this stuff. But I haven't had antibiotics for a bladder infection in probably 11 or 12 years. Wow. Even before I knew a lot about health, I was just 
tired of throwing antibiotics at it because, again, it seemed like it was a, a fix for the moment, but it would kind of be a chronic thing. So anyway, anytime I feel anything kind of irritation, I'll go straight to the D-mannose and uh, cranberry pills or the cranberry with the D-mannose or like right now I'm doing this tea, um, tons of water and I kind of just and probiotics and I just have been able to flush this thing out and stave it off. It's pretty cool. That's really cool. Yeah. So, oh, and you know, it's really powerful too. Are those Highlands? I think it's Highlands brand um, homeopathic pellets. Oh, really? And they have one for bladder irritation. They've had one for sinus that's helped me. They've had like those things are powerful. They're subtle and powerful. But I'll tell you, every time I've ever done like a a urinary tract one, a bladder one, or a sinus one, it really like within within twenty four hours, I do feel like it's doing something. Almost like an antibiotic would make me feel so. Back in the day, at what time? At what point did you stop taking antibiotics for urinary ETIs? tract? Yeah. Um, like eleven or twelve years ago. Oh, really? Ten or eleven? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. So, does your sister do? Do most women just take antibiotics for that? Yeah. That's crazy. Oh yeah, yeah. I think people. Here's the thing. I think people hear the word infection. Anytime anybody tells you you have an infection, like these girls at my work, they're like, oh, but it was an infection. Like I tried to do this, but you know, it was an infection. So then I had to do the antibiotics. Like, people will say that. Yeah. Because once it's quote an infection and you put that label on stuff, people freak out. They're like, oh, it's gone to a new level. Now, it, stage four, stage four. It's, truly, it's, now, it's now an infection. It's now an infection. <laughs> yeah. And everything's an infection. I mean, my gosh, like how do they treat infections 150 years ago without antibiotics. Right. I mean, people had infections all the time. You'd, you know, cut your finger with something and get gangrene. It's an infection or you'd have a sore throat. It became an infection. Um, but I don't know this, this last week too, we also had an interesting thing with our new pup, Charlie, you know, with her ear. Oh yeah. She had this gnarly yeast infection in her ear that had been a challenge since we've gotten her, I think because the people were feeding her horrible food, right? Which by the way, we have to, we should have used that accelerated silver on her from Sarah Banta. Oh my gosh. Well, when Sarah wrote that, I had no idea. I, did, I don't think like that. I know, I, it's so crazy, it's right? It's funny because we had the silver, um, a gel like a, what do you call that? Like a first aid gel we yeah. put on the inside of her ears that were getting irritated from the scratching, but I never thought to put accelerated silver drops in her water. In her water, yeah. Or I think she said, did she say in her you ear too? You can put them on, on the ear too, yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, okay. We gotta start so, putting that in our water. I know. We'll start doing that now that we have that email and we, she suggested it. Um, But it's funny, you hear like we took her to the vet because it was so bad. She had so much overgrowth of this gray matter in her ear. I couldn't even get anything homeopathic or natural down her ear canal anymore. Right. And I'd been cleaning them out the best I could. So anyway, she ends up at the, at the 24 hour vet hospital place where they had to put her under with a little IV, um, put, knock her out to be able to clean her ear out properly. Right. And I told the vet, you know, you weren't there, but I told her before Charlie went in, I said, we don't want her to be on any antibiotics. And I said, antifungal, sure. You know, let's just till we can get a hold of this thing, you know, right. Cause we'd done a lot of stuff. We'd done, um, vinegar and, and pH balancing in her ear. We did a lot of silver, um, this other really great product uh, with aloe vera gel and just nothing seemed to be working for her. But so anyway, they clean her ear out and all this stuff. And they, they, you went back with me to pick her up and they walk out her medication in her little bag and they say, here's the antifungal antibiotic. And you said, whoa, whoa, whoa we, we didn't want an antibiotic or whatever. Yeah. And he goes, well, we're a vet hospital. Like you asked, <laughs> you asked, is there anything else that could just be a straight antifungal without an antibiotic. Antibiotic, right. And he said, oh, I'm sure there is, but we're a vet hospital and this is what we do. Like, this is, is all we have. Said? I don't on, even remember what he, he said. Goes, this is all we have in stock, you know, on hand here. We're, we, we're more of a vet hospital. I remember that, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we said, thank you very much. We put the cone on her. We brought her home and um, you were brilliant enough the next day to go call the pet store. This chick is super knowledgeable. Oh, we yeah. need her on the show to talk we about should get her on the show. pet health, you know? Yeah, she's really knowledgeable. And we had done diatomaceous earth and powder and things that were really good, seemed to be a good thing to dry up. Oregano. Or wet air, oregano. We tried it. We tried a lot of things. Yeah. But anyway, so they, they suggested this other product that has worked really, really well. And um, it does seem to be more of like a mainstream, quote, medicine, but it's an antifungal. It's not an antibiotic. And her ears cleared up amazingly. Yeah. Because my thinking was, you know, if you're going to, if she's got a yeast overgrowth and candida coming out of her ears, and you're going to destroy the beneficial bacteria that are so delicate that live inside the ears with antibiotics, then you're going to con- create a situation where she's going to keep having yeah. these issues. Because the the issue with her ear was that it, it, she's, what is a Tibetan? Spaniel. Spaniel. King Charles Spaniel. So the shape of her ear canal is really kind of... Deeper, I guess. Deeper and kinked and, and stuff. So it's not like a regular dog where... 
the medicine can get down into where it needs to get to. So it's the the structure of your ear shape is really challenging. Mm -hmm. And so that's why a lot of these things didn't work too well. And maybe you have to do things internally. Yeah. But um, but I was just thinking, you know, and you did the same thing too with uh, with your test that you're, or, you know, the TB test. Oh, yeah, yeah. So tell people I'll, about that. I'll talk about that. But the other thing with Charlie really quick is that it's interesting that she seemed to do okay for the first while we had her on the barf diet. And then we've let it lapse a little and still done raw food for her, but a different yeah. brand. And well, we wanted to switch it up. We wanted to switch it up for a little bit and just give her, give them something new. They'd been on the beef um, barf world diet for a long time, which is great. Which we highly recommend. Yeah. If and you the, guys want, that's in our store too. It's, it's great. And we're yeah. going to get it again. But we took a little break and thought we'll mix it up and do lamb or duck or turkey or, you know, and we were in a, in a pinch. So went to the pet store, got a raw organic, you know, um, really great company as well but i think she might be allergic to one of those other kinds of food right so now we're just trying to kind of figure out what it is yeah she can and can't do but also what's really helped too is that green um probiotic powder how come we from barf oh, i've been putting right. it on her food every morning oh right 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 uh, that's different than the green mush right oh green mush yeah who makes that health force i think health force yeah we are giving them something called green mush which too. by the way we're connected up with health force now in our store awesome are we through the online retailers that we support look at you yeah Good yeah, green know. mush. Green mush, ladies. Yeah, so... Okay, so long story short, got offered this uh, part-time gig on the weekends, maybe even a little more sometimes helping to cut hair um, at a mentally disabled facility. Mm -hmm. And it's about mm, 45 minutes from our house and there's 99 beds. They have a lot of people, folks, mostly I'd say he said 90% of them are wheelchair bound and severely mentally disabled and they need haircuts. And so it's really cool. The state will give you a small amount to go up and, and cut these people's hair. Well, it sounded like a good gig to me on the side, you know? So what do you mean the state will give you? The give state you? pays you, me. The state will pay someone to come in and cut these people's hair. Oh, I thought, okay. I, th I thought they were going to just pay you just as a company. No, no, the state does. Look at that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So, they, I mean, these people are so severe that they don't really, it's a hard thing to get them out, you know, to go yeah. to a barber or a hairstylist or, right. you know, so they do like, in that facility, it looks like a full hospital. They have like full medical care, a ton of nurses. They have a staff of, I think he said, ninety. Wow. I mean, they're literally that rotate. They're not all there at once, but yeah, it's pretty cool. So anyway, um, it requires this job requires. He said just uh, you know, obviously a licensed cosmetology, you know, copy of that and a TB test. And I said, okay, you know, I've had a TB test before when I worked at the YMCA with the kids back in the day, and mm -hmm. I didn't think much of it. Well, then, then what? When I hung up the phone. Then what? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I thought, gosh, I know it's not a, I know it's not a vaccine because what they do is they squirt this, they inject this stuff um, into your, I think it's like in your forearm, right? Uh, where the skin and basically bubbles up into this like mound of liquid, and then it so will it, dissipate over like a couple days. So it it raises the skin. It will raise your skin, which is supposed to do. That's what it's made to do. And then if it disappears within a few days, whatever their time, their allotted time, it it means you don't have TB. And you're not infected or you don't carry it or whatever. And then if it stays raised, you got you kind of got problems and you go in and get treated for tuberculosis or whatever. Wow. Uh, so anyway, I thought that doesn't seem normal to inject anything into your body. Like I'm okay with blood going out of my body, but anytime right. I'm putting something into my body, it kind of sketches you me out, be, you know? Yeah. Unless it's a holistic doctor and they vigilant. know what they're doing and all of that. Right, right. Like a vitamin C. I mean, when you know what you're doing, but yeah. I thought what's in the stuff. So I did a little research with you and we come up upon some videos and I think the most compelling one that kind of helped me figure it out was a video that Dr. Andreas Moritz did. Yeah. And it was, I oh didn't my watch gosh. that. What did he say? Well, it contains polysorbate 80, first of all, this okay. chemical that they put into you. You look that up while you're talking. Yeah. Um, you know, and that causes all kinds of, you know, problems. So I wasn't about, I don't eat polysorbate 80, so I don't plan on shooting it directly into my bloodstream either, you, you know? You don't use it as like a side dish? I don't. I never make a side of just... A side of polysorbate 80? Yeah, right. With a We're going to have uh, green little... beans, mashed potatoes, and a side of polysorbate 80. With whipped cream. <laughs> <laughs> polysorbate 80. See, isn't that crazy to even say? It doesn't even sound like a food or a consumable product. I'll know? read. I brought something up. I'll read it when you're done. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, we did some research and found out that you can get a blood test. It's quite expensive. Oh, sorry. I can't get my foot. Ah, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm going to move my foot. I'm playing with your feet I underneath the table. I don't like that. I'm trying to concentrate and tell a story. <laughs> now I sound silly. Yeah. You throw me off. Um, Where was I? So you didn't want to be injected with polysorbate 80. Oh, yeah. So I found out there's this blood test and you can get it. And it's basically outside your body. They could take your blood, put it into a little Petri dish or whatever they do, incubate it. 
and then put the tubercula because basically when they're shooting that into you they're shooting a little bit like you know how they do with vaccines apparently they give you a little bit of what it is right so they give you a little bit of tb and i'm like gosh it just seems so sketchy to do that in your body so they'll they'll do that outside of your body mix it with your blood test it and then voila there you go it's super expensive it was like a 300 and something dollar test and um it's kind of sad because at this facility he said oh my nurse can just you know do it for you before you leave and i said no thanks you know i'm gonna look into something else. And so this satisfies what they need for me to be, you know, tested for tuberculosis and all this. But um, A, it's more expensive, which is a bummer. And B, um, I thought, wow, how willing people are to just walk over to the little room next door and get shot up with something. They don't even know what's in it, you know? And I thought, oh, all those other times I did the TB test and didn't even know what was in it. I mean, this was when I was 18, 19. I would never again. But it's really funny that you think that's your one option. You know, they tell you this is a TB test. They've Mm -hmm. never said there's two or three different kinds of tests you can get for tuberculosis. Right. Um, so Isn't anyway, that, I'm really glad. I mean, it's worth the money. It, it'll be fine. It'll even out in the long run. But it's just, it's crazy to me. Like, like it's, it's just exactly option. what you said that, you know, they make it look like there's only one option Yeah. with everything, with everything in life. Yeah. They make it look like there's one or two options. And yeah. that's it. We Same start realizing Charlie's ear with everything, you know? Yeah. 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 We didn't have to use the antibiotics to Charlie's ear and she uh-uh. did fine. She did totally fine. And the same way with this, uh, TB test, like, you know, it's really challenging because most people just th- listen to their doctor and the doctor says, this is what you have to do. And they do it, mm-hmm. not realizing, like, I can go research and find other alternatives. I wonder, like, how it's many like things there spell. aren't alternatives to. Hardly um, anything. Say again, like, how many things are not? Like tuberculosis. Nobody ever knows that there's, most people don't know there's a blood test for TB. It's kind of obscure. Right. I mean, not that much, but not compared to that regular testing. So how many other th- other tests are there oh, or how I many see. other ways are like, what is there? There's probably a really small percentage, like 10% of things or 20% that there's only one way for one right. test for one, you know, known substance to cure something or. Right, right. Yeah. I mean, probably I suspect it's that way with everything with either testing or mm. desired outcomes. I suspect it's that way with everything. Like oh. there's multiple ways to skin a camel. Cat. A cat? cat? A no, not a cat. You don't skin a cat. Sheep. I think it's skin a cat. No? Skin a, a cat. <laughs> I think it's a cat is the, is the right... Um, I think that's the... T- no, you shear sheep. Well, I know, but that's not the... Look it up. There's a term. <laughs> we have, we have there the are internet many ways now. To skin. <laughs> we have the internet now. <laughs> Multiple... We have the internet now. <laughs> there are many ways to skin a what? Cat. Oh, you're right. Yes. Darn Sharing you. a sheep makes sense, but... Many ways to skin a camel. <laughs> it could be any animal, though. You know, it really. was originated that phrase in 1854. By who? The earliest version of the saying of this particular form in the book, "The Way Down East" or "Portraitures of Yankee Life" by Seba Smith, circa 1854, in which he wrote, "There is, there is a money digging world of ours, and it is said there are many more ways than one to skin a cat." Wow. Look at that. Smart man. 1854. I love but you, that. But you don't skin cats. You, you shear sheep. Well, yeah, I agree. But Come on. There's many ways to fillet a fish, huh? Come on, Seba Smith. Many ways to carve a turkey. There you go. Seba Smith. So this girl at my work is um, uh, dealing with cancer right now. Mm-hmm. And we asked her if she'd like a little information, and she said yes. So we shared some stuff about Ty Bollinger's Truth About Cancer. Oh, I didn't realize you, a- you asked her, and she said yes. Well, I didn't. I, that's another That's another part of the story. Oh, okay. Originally, we shared something with her, and then later on, I said, hey, there's, it turns out there, we know about, we heard about this other test you can do to see what kinds of chemo would be best for your body. And she right. said, I'd like to know about that. So I shared with her what this test was called, and she said, well, thanks. I'm going to look into that. And then she said, I wonder if it's different than the test my oncologist had me do Like that sounded similar. So apparently, her oncologist put her through a test to see what kind of chemo would be effective for, you know with the least kind of um, amount of side effects for her particular case. Okay. Um, but same thing. I thought, wow, I, I never heard back from her. I don't know what, I know she chose to do some chemotherapy and she started last week. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't know if that test, she had done his test, but I thought, is it different than, you know, there's so many different kinds of tests and it's like, is the standard oncologist, just the general oncologist in America doing all this one test and they don't even know about like a more um, intensive, like, yeah. Comprehensive test or is it just two different worlds where like the more natural community is going to do the uh, above and beyond testing and the more uh, 
Well, I've referenced what mainstream. that test is on extremehealthradio.com slash 126. Mm-hmm. And I forget if it's Dr. Brad Weeks or Dr. Lane Sebring. That one. Is it Sebring? Sebring Clinic. Mm-hmm. Okay, so he's out in Texas somewhere, and there's a link to it on that show page. Um, but he says there's a test you can get to figure out um, not not just chemotherapy, but also um, natural substances. And it, it will determine... I don't know how they do this, but it will determine which natural substance is going to be the best for you and which which kind of chemo your body's going to respond best to. I don't know how they do that. That seems space age is kind of weird. That does. Doesn't it? Doesn't seem like the good old, uh, not FDA, I guess maybe FDA. Then it doesn't seem like the mainstream medical model would like knowing there's a test like that, really. Well, it would benefit them if you all, if doctors only used it for chemotherapy because then they'd be giving chemo to the patients. Well, maybe that's what they were doing. Maybe that's what this guy did. Maybe there's the, like a half, a half test they do then. Yeah. Is it really, really expensive? Do you know? I don't know. I don't okay. know. I just heard Dr. Massey is the one that I heard that from. Okay. Um, and good yeah. to know though, isn't it? Yeah. Cause he was saying, you know, if, if chemotherapy has like a two or 3% chance of, um, actually working mm-hmm. and, but the side effect is a 100% that it's going to damage your body, yeah. you know, that's not something you want to gamble on. So right. it's worth, I think he mentioned, I think it's a couple thousand dollars or okay. maybe three or 4,000. I have no idea. But you can way make a, you can make a way better educated decision in my opinion, if you have Oh, yeah. Well, your mom was one of those people that responded super well. Uh-huh. Was that to her stem cell transplant, though, or was that to chemo as well? Well, I don't know, because she had surgery for, on her lung, and then pr- prior to that, the original cancer, she had chemo, radiation. Mm. I don't know if she had surgery, too. I know she had a bone marrow transplant and stem cells, I think, as well. Okay. But so she it's hard to say which. It's hard one. to say what it was, huh? Yeah, but there's no doubt it ravaged her body. Huh? You know. Interesting. Yeah. No, I know because she still has the. I mean, she can't really hear that great, and mm-hmm. it's done some stuff to her hearing and her. Yeah. Her whole just being and her age. Yeah. The way her body, the way she moves around. So I got this thing on polysorbate eighty okay. damage to the brain in vaccines. Polysorbate eighty acts as an emulsifier to disperse all the other ingredients evenly uh, within the liquid. Pediatrician Lawrence Pelaveski, MD, warns of the potential danger of using polysorbate 80 as a vaccine ingredient. He notes, quote, polysorbate 80 is used in pharmaco- pharma- pharmacological. No, no, oh, no. Darn. pharmacology. Look at me. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs> polysorbate 80 is used in pharmacology to assist in the delivery of certain drugs or chemotherapeutic. I love that. Chemotherapeutic. Are those that? That's like saying. Black white. Yeah. You're Chemotherapeutic right. agents across the blood brain barrier. This raises serious concerns of using polysorbate 80 in combination with other relative vaccine ingredients, which have the potential to damage the brain. The blood brain barrier is a barrier that separates the brain from the circulatory system and protects the central nervous system from harmful chemicals and other toxins. The blood brain barrier is particularly weak and more easily penetrated during infancy and in old age. Consequently, the concern of with using polysorbate 80 in vaccines is that it may permit the entry of other toxic ingredients such as heavy metals into the brain, which also, by the way, a lot of people don't realize this when older people get uh, Blue like shots. A, well, no, like uh, like they break their hip or they break a bone mm-hmm. um, that is causing all. Co- oh, Charlie, she's starting to she's starting. Oh, to, she's dreaming and dreamlike. Oh, my oh. gosh. That's so cute. So okay. when people, when older people break their hips or break their bones mm-hmm. uh, and they have surgery for that, that's, that's ravaging. Did you know that for, Mm-mm. for the, for their health? Mm-mm. Because what happens is that toxins and heavy metals get stored in the bone. Mm-hmm. So when the oh, bones break, now releasing. all of a sudden you have all these heavy metals that are released in the bloodstream. It's like when you do a biopsy for cancer. Ooh. And then on top of that, you put an older person through anesthesia. Mm-hmm. So they wake up. And then they have all these heavy metals that have gone to the brain. Like this says here, the blood brain barrier is particularly compromised in infants and older people. Mm-hmm. So now you have a, someone who's already got a compromised blood brain barrier. They break their bone, releasing heavy metals and toxins into their bloodstream. That goes to their brain because their blood brain barrier is weak. And then on top of that, you have surgery to fix the hip. Uh. And then that, the anesthesia, it goes to the brain as well because they have a compromised blood brain barrier. Now you have anesthesia, chemicals, and toxins and chemicals 
And then they had like a 70. And that might be in a, oh, sorry. Like a 70, 80 year old person has a surgery and they just never feel right again. Right. You know, that's. And that's a good case scenario. A lot of people end up with like a metal plate in their body then, you know? Like, yeah, yeah. Then you got more metal. You got more issues. See, that's interesting because the polysorbate 80 that's in that TB test, if it would have been injected to me, I'm, I'm testing out for high, I have tested out for high, heavy metal in my blood. You have. Through my hair, through my oh, hair through, um, analysis with Nikki. Nikki Moses. So it kind of makes me think that. What would it do if, if I mean, everyone has heavy met, has some metals, right? Yeah. But if you're injecting something right there, is it going to like, what's all this, you know, all these metals going to gravitate right toward that? Or is it just going to allow more to get to my brain? Or like, isn't I don't it, even want to think about that. Isn't it amazing what we allow to have done to us when we're young? Oh, I know. I remember having... Um, I don't know if we'd allowed half of it though, by the way. Our parents took us and that we didn't know any better. Yeah, that's true. But it's weird. I mean, I remember having, I had surgery on my wrist mm-hmm. because I had a broken scaphoid bone in my, in my wrist okay. from playing basketball. Okay. Um, and then I think I had a few tests when I was diagnosed with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy when I was a kid. But you get that, you know how they inject you and you start feeling that warmth? Mm-hmm. All of, like, what like is iodine. that stuff? Iodine, but chemical iodine. And so, I mean, you had a reaction to that. Oh my gosh, that was and the worst. It's crazy what what the average person has done to them. Oh, I know. You know, willingly. And, yeah. <gasps> it's like That's, you feel like you're in an experiment, don't you? It's yeah. not good. Yeah, you had a really bad reaction to that. I had a horrible one when I when we were in another state, and I had to get a Florida. Yeah, what did I have to get? An MRI or um, what's that scan? Uh, some full CT scan or something? Yeah, with a with a the contrast. And, yeah. Ooh, I wasn't normal for months afterward. My yeah. all my organs, everything, my stuff. Oh, it was horrible. It was horrible. And that was the iodine. That was dye. iodine. So what's the deal with iodine? Was it a was it not the regular iodine or what is that? Oh, stuff? I don't think it's a. I think it's iodine. Like I think it's very different than the kind of iodine iodorol we take, obviously for, um, and in, in pill form for yeah. our supplementation. I mean, this stuff, it can't be good. I remember thinking this. It, it, I know exactly what you meant. It made my body feel all warm and strange. and But it screwed your organs up for a long oh, time, right? Oh, my gosh. It caused so much more of a problem. It was just really upsetting to my whole system, you know? God, that's crazy. Yeah, no, thank you. Yeah, so it's it's just interesting what we allow to have done to us. But then also, like, the moral of the story, too, is you, you had the same experience you were looking at some ingredients for makeup recently. Oh, yeah. Remember that? Skincare. Yeah. Tell people about that. Oh, gosh. So there's this whole beauty counter craze, you know, which I think is okay. I'm, I try not to be annoyed. I think it's good stuff for sure. But it's like, to me, it just reminds me so much of like another multi-level marketing type yeah. thing. Um, but it does seem, I, I do say about it, it does seem to have, from what I know, pure ingredients. Um, they have a whole list of the nevers that they'll never put into their products and it's great because I mean I have a friend who reps it and stuff and I did throw a little party for my friends and people really love it and I'm not slamming the product at all. I just I don't like that whole marketing part of it, you know? Yeah, I I stay That's away from it. It's the only from, thing I, I don't love about it. But Yeah, multi level marketing. So the stuff's good. Anyway, I had all the literature on this, so after she left and um I was it's interesting because every few months I'll go get a no probably only every six months I'll go get a facial because my skin <laughs> I've been really wanting to work on that both internally and externally and um, I've been going to this gal I met. By the way, have you been using Sarah Banta's uh, accelerated facelift? Facelift? I haven't tried it yet. No. Okay. Are you? Have you? Uh, just a few times before bed. It's We've awesome only had stuff. it for a few days, so yeah. I will be. I will be trying it shortly. But, yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm excited to see how that works. Actually. Yeah, it's cool. But uh, this stuff. So anyway, I was looking up, or I've been going to this other lady for facials, and she said that she. It's this. I'm not going to name names here, but she said it was a really natural product line, and she's really into like health and. Was this the beauty counter stuff or different? No, no, no. This is the girl who does facials. But different, it's a different different company. product. Okay. And she swore it was just like the best thing out there, and that it really penetrates into the skin. And there's nothing bad in it, and blah blah blah. Well, when the beauty counter person left my house, and I had the pamphlet, I read about all the products in this other, you know, that you shouldn't be in anything. So I compared them against all the ingredients that were in this other brand. And I couldn't believe it for being a, quote, natural brand. This other brand had like three that I can remember items that were on that never list. That I, So I look up like benzyl alcohol or sodium by uh, potassium, potassium sorbate or, yeah. or something like that. All I, these I did weird the words. All these weird words. Yeah, you know, you, you look know. them up and they're all linked to over a long period of time. This could cause cancer directly on this. This could lead to that. Um 
I mean, everything from possible cancer to hives and rashes and shock and, you know, like crazy things. And I thought, wow, this is a kind of quote, natural company. They're marketing themselves as like really holistic and all this stuff, but it just had, it was a bunch of great ingredients. And then the very, you know, the the last two ingredients were just really crap stuff. Yeah. Ah, And it bummed me out because that, that stuff seems to work really well, you know? Right. But I thought, is it only working well because of the, the crap chemicals in it things with chemicals work that's the and thing this company said it was supposed to be all natural they've all that. claimed that but i it's, it's also a doctor an md who started the company so okay. i was a little bit like i'm always I was a little leery of it at the beginning yeah so i'd rather i'd rather to be honest like support even multi-level marketing that hopefully claims and sticks to their guns as far as the purity of their ingredients and things right right where yeah you could eat it and it wouldn't kill you would you want to be eating potassium sorbate and benzyl alcohol probably not you know yeah um, but it was just a bummer. I thought, man, you have to be so on top of, I've never been a researcher. I've always, you know, looked at ingredients and thought, okay, those seem to be all great, mm-hmm. but never really educated myself on what those ingredients actually do, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, cause you could be at the, the, the health food store, you know, even a whole foods and they have a slew of products that are have chemicals. Totally. It's like Trader Joe's. I mean, I used to think back in the nineties when I went with my friend, they went every single week and I go with them and I thought, Oh, this is cool. It's like a health food story. Everything in here is healthy. Yeah. But no, I mean, there's sugar, there's wheat, there's gluten, there's soy, there's dairy, there's egg. There's, there's things that aren't good for people and a lot of things. It doesn't mean, you know, anything. It's interesting that three things have come up recently for you where it's required a little bit of research and a little bit of looking into the TB test Mm-hmm. Um, the makeup or the skincare line. The skincare line. And what was the other one we just Charlie? Did? Oh, yeah. Charlie's story. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. With her uh, thing. With their little ear infection. Yeah. It's just, it's interesting that you have to kind of go above and beyond a little extra mile and do some research, you know? Yeah. But you and I've had some good talks about like, these have all brought up really important things. Like, what are other options for people? I mean, uh-huh. is there really only one option that they tell us about? Like, no. Yeah. I mean, It just, you know, it takes time. And I feel like that's what everyone's so short on. It takes time to look into things and research things and, and money. I mean, if you want to, if you want your dog to live a long and healthy life, you might have to spend some money on some holistic, um, you know, products products to keep them from going down that route of getting the chronic ear infections. It's, It's not cheap, but it's, I think in the end, it's, it's obviously really worth it. Who wants to shoot their body or their dog's body full of stuff, you know? I always tell people to go on to our store and get the products from uh, Anne Marie Gianni and Living Libations for their skin and hair. Yeah, Anne Marie, that's clean and pure. Um, yeah. yeah, it's just really challenging, you know, to to find pure products and I know. clean products that are not going to be filled with chemicals. Well, and that's the thing that's like products that actually work because I can't tell you how many times I've bought products at the health food store that are just crap. Uh-huh. Like my hair doesn't feel great from the shampoo. My skin breaks out because of the 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 face wash like right or the makeup just looks horrible and it's made out of like dirt and so it doesn't clump to it doesn't even do anything for you and you spend all this money on just crap yeah and it's hard like you know even in our shower it's it's the oils that come off your body in this molded shower we have it's called it's like a, a soft what do you call that like a, it's been resurfaced our showers don't have mold no, no no it's called a molded shower like it's molded to like they come and resurface it I don't know why it's called that. Oh, you like, mean the shape of it? The shape of it. Is and they resurface it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> no, no, it's called a, like a, my mom said it's called a molded. Okay. Shower. I don't know. Anyway, um, the oils come off your body and from the soap and the shampoo and stuff, and then they'll have a buildup on the bottom, you know, and I don't like using chemicals and I've tried natural stuff. It just doesn't work. Yeah. It doesn't work. Yeah. So it's like, I have to come up with something. I'm still like on the lookout to find stuff that actually cleans because right. no one wants their floor of their shower to look disgusting, yeah. but no one wants to be spilling bleach, you know? Right. So that's kind of frustrating that it, it takes a lot of extra work to find stuff that really works, you know? Yeah. It's and, out there. And it's, it's worth it though. I mean, um, but like you said, you know, those products wouldn't be out there if they didn't work. And yeah. Like, you know, they work bleach great. Bleach and Comet, all this stuff works. Right. But it's like, um, yeah, you know, hair dyes, perfumes, makeup. I mean, this stuff works. It's, it's, they're, what they've set out to do, they've completely done it. Like, yeah. They create great products that do what they're going to do. Now, they're also doing all these other things that people don't know what they're doing to you. I bet you there's <laughs> some the problem. cool things on Thrive Market. Oh, yeah. Um, well, you know what? And to be honest, I've just started to take my things back that don't work. I'll just save the receipt and be like, this didn't work. This yeah. didn't clean my shower. Or, you know, this makeup is horrible. Or the shampoo left my hair looking like a, a witch's broom. Like, yeah. you know, it's like yeah. you have to keep trying, I think, until you find the right thing. So 
I had a friend, my friend Kristen actually sent me um, an email or something. I think maybe it's an email like a month ago and said, you guys should do a whole show on the products you love oh. that you found out everything from makeup to what you yeah shower with your bar soap to the cooking wear, you know, kind of thing. We would have people complaining that we're <sighs> doing a big products. commercial. Yeah. I know, but half the stuff we won't even sell, you know, yeah, but well, she's, yeah. she was interested and I thought, you know, that's really an important one that. to do because I would love if I could find a, a show or a person that I value their opinion. And I said, now what really works? What are the top 10 cleaning products to make your shower like clean without toxifying your liver? You right, know, like, right. well, that's what uh, one of the things Anthony was talking about yesterday on the show was using um, vinegar and salt. Anthony and- Anderson. Anthony Anderson, yeah, on episode 494, which should be released today. But Vinegar and salt. Vinegar and salt for um, killing, you know, um, pests and bugs and aphids and things that are... You on know, your garden. On your garden, yeah. I mean, this, a certain ratio of vinegar and salt. See, I know. It's like, so things. simple. I know, know, I know. It's so simple that people just think, oh, I got to go get, you know, Roundup or something. Right. It's crazy. Right, yeah, when you bleach your kitchen sink, but if you rub a lemon around on it, it'll bleach it up. Like, yeah. There are certain things that I think that need to be tougher um, and more intense, but I think they're out there. It's just talking to the right people. And I think that'd be really great, though, to come up with like some sort of a list of things that we use and love that have been tried and true for us, you know, mm-hmm. just to share it. Like, yeah, I don't care if do people it? complain. Um, <laughs> what would we do? Like um, soaps and shampoos and then what else? All like, kinds of stuff. But we'd have to have different little categories so we can go, okay, here are the top five or ten I'd say in different sections. You know? Home and beauty. Okay. Um, supplements and like additives, like uh, what do you call that? All the the powders and what do you call it? like um? Oh, just not powders, protein yeah. powders, but things like green powders and things. Yeah, or, all those kinds of things mm-hmm. and supplements. Uh, we think because cookware and all that would be in with house and beauty, home and beauty, uh, pet care. Oh yeah, pet care. Um, pet food. Pet food. It's quite a bit. Backyard stuff, garden stuff. Oh yeah, gardening stuff. We could come up with house some stuff. Yeah, we should just come up with like five yeah. or six categories. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be cool. And also our, you know, I don't care if people think it's a big commercial because it's our life. We use these things with the top detoxification products we use, you mm-hmm. know, and things that we do for our everyday, what we do for our everyday health regimens. Yeah, our, you know? our daily health health. Uh, so we do all these crazy things. We use this crazy thing called the rapid release. I don't know if people have even heard of this yet, but it's in our store. Uh-huh. And we've gone to a woman who turned us onto this and literally <laughs> saved her back. And this machine, we do it daily. It's It's been such an... Ad- I never thought beyond the rebounder and the sauna, we'd come up with another product that would be like our go-to product. And we use it every day. Oh, yeah. It, it's, it's a miracle. So it's, I just want people to know about these things, you know? Like, I know. Sure, we get credit when you buy one, but that's not what it's about. It's about like... Hey, I've got blood flow back to my feet and my Raynaud syndrome that flares up during the winter hasn't been as bad. And you're right. able to get out of bed in the morning, use this thing and have your back feel like a million bucks. Like uh-huh. this is, this is the reality of some of these products. So yeah, it's challenging. You know, maybe we can come up with a bunch of products too that we don't sell. So it's not all just a, you know, we're not trying to sell these things, but we do use them. And so yeah. it's just hard to do because, you know, like yeah. we're just sharing what we use, but right. you know. Well, and some people we happen it, to sell them too, but it's like we don't want to avoid talking about them because some we, people really want to buy these things. Like, yeah, I know what. What do we get? Just a few complaints. Yeah, not too. We bad. only get a few about people thinking we're like a big long commercial or infomercial, but yeah, we don't do commercials on purpose for our show right now because yeah. we don't want to be salesy. But man, this these products for people who are in the market and listen to a show and want to buy things that will help their life. Hey, how can you not talk about them? You right, know? right. So whatever. If those people don't want to listen, that's fine with me. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of, I got that. Uh, I got that interview. That's or not that interview, but that email. Um, Who'd you get an email? Um, Do I know about this uh, alleged email? Well, no. It was a person who was upset that we were. It looks. She said it looks like all of our shows have become. Oh, like a sales. One. Like, you know, talking to people with products. I can't mm. find it right here right now, okay. but that's kind of like what you're just saying. Oh, here we go. N- uh, nurse, na- nurse, nurse, Stancy, hmm. nurse, Stancy. So many of your episodes lately feature guests who have a product to sell. Your show is starting to feel like an inf- an infomercial. I understand you have to make money, but this has turned me away. Hmm. So it's like, just like what you're saying. I mean, it's such a challenge because, you know, there are like for every product we sell, 
I, I want to do a show on on that product because not only do I believe it and and use it, but I want people to know about it. And so, you know, I know, you know, but that's not if you look at all of the products that we sell, the, those podcasts versus all the rest of the podcasts, it's really probably less than two percent. I think so. Of all the shows we've four almost five hundred shows. I agree. So, but then you know what I wrote back to Nance Stancy was that everyone has something to sell and. Mm-hmm. You know, um, whether it's a book or a podcast or a website or, a, you know, service and an idea yeah. or a product. So it's, you know, I, I think it would be remiss because people use products to, to get healthier. Right. And so, but at the same time, that's not what we're all going to, you know, focus on is pushing product. Mm-hmm. But it still stands to to say that there's not a person alive who doesn't have something to sell right. unless they have no website. They don't, they don't meet with people and help them over Skype or if they're not writing a book or if they have no products to sell or anything and they're just, you know, they just know a lot, but they're hermits. Right. There's just nobody like that. Well, read the, then can you read the iTunes review we got from a guy who bought an ozone uh, package and then you have ones like that where to, oh, yeah. to me, if you don't put out these guests who have specific things to meet people's specific needs that might sound salesy or like a commercial to someone. Right. Who's to say that one, per- say one person out of all the people that ever listened to that show with Marcus this last week with you. Right. Gets this ozone thing and ends up being healed of whatever ailed them. Mm-hmm. Isn't it worth it? Like that person who's annoyed by it doesn't have to listen to it if they think it's a big commercial, but for the person who's looking to matter. heal their yeah. body from all these other things and they get it, like that's all that matters. Like, mm-hmm. I know. I don't care. Yeah, if people, you know, if this person here uh, on YouTube, he's um, T.I. Malice 2009. He says, I just ordered my bundle. He was talking about he, he purchased the ozone generator mm-hmm. um, from Marcus. Uh, so what episode? I think that's 490. So if you go to extremehealthradio.com slash 490, you can listen to the show we did with Marcus. But he says, I just ordered my bundle. The info on this show has helped me so much. First, Cat James from my diet, losing weight, and healing my body. Now, Ozone, when I've been looking for a unit, I'm going to place all my Amazon orders going through your sponsor link and do a Patreon soon. Oh. So, like, there's a guy who's super stoked on the Ozone. It's like, yeah, I man. know. That's what we you want. You know, or the rapid release. Somebody bought one of those a couple weeks ago. Um, Charles, oh, yeah. I think, and he, I wrote him back saying, and he was just all excited because he says that basically his chiropractor's given up on his back and hearing you talk about this thing oh, yeah. has completely given him hope and he wanted one. And it's like, well, that's great. You know, like, mm-hmm. wh- why would someone else be upset at someone else's good fortune of finding something that might work for them? That just, yeah. it bums me out, you know? Yeah, it's, it's challenging because, um, you know, How would you, people know about these products is what, like, yeah. why would anyone go on to there and be like, what's a high vibrational uh, remedy machine I can use for my back? No one's mm-hmm. going to search that because they don't know about it. They but when you have a it. show like ours where we talk about it or some guest comes on, it just opens people's eyes to options. So, And we do a lot of shows with people whose products we don't promote too. Absolutely. And there's a lot of people who have products that we don't promote. We just promote the ones that we use and like and all right. that. But there's a lot of products of people that... Um, but like, you know, I did a show recently. I don't know if you heard this one, but it was, uh, excuse me, it was um, based off of the conversation I had from that lady. I, can't, I, I don't even want to say her name because we're, we're coming into a time where you can't even have uh, freedom of speech about anything. Mm-hmm. But you know the lady because mm-hmm. I told you about her. But she was a lady that this company, okay, so this company sells a magnetic pulser unit. Mm-hmm. And this lady no longer works for the company because they they figured if she works and has ties to the company, that's going to be bad for the company. So the company can't even make any claims at all, mm-hmm. zero claims. Um, they just have to sell it as a as a health device. Mm-hmm. Um, and the magnetic pulser is based on the technology of Bob Beck, Doctor Bob Beck, and it does incredible things to the body. But it's all the people that have the product that are able to talk about it. Mm-hmm. The company has been sort of uh, not bootstrapped. What's the just strapped where they can't say anything? Railroaded. Yeah, and so you know, if people like us or other people don't talk about these things, then no one's going to know about them because the company can't say anything. If they say something, they're going to be you know totally. I know. So it's like I don't want yeah, so much for freedom of speech, huh? Yeah, it's not like we want to just push product, but at the same time. You know, these things do help people. Right. Um, 
So, yeah, you know, it's a, it's, but, but that's a good idea. Putting, going through and just sharing what we do every day and products we use for this, that, and the other. I mean, thing. people are asking, you know, so it's like the people who don't ask don't have to listen. But when people ask, it's right. like you'd hate to not do it, you know? Yeah, it's a, such a challenging thing, right? I know. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah, this guy was cool. He ordered the bundle. Which, by the way, if people are listening to this show and they want to attend a free webinar, there's a cool webinar that uh, Marcus is doing. I think it's on Tuesday. Let me look at the date. I think it's. I think I meant ramrodded, not railroaded. Ramrodded. Eh. <laughs> I was like, that didn't sound right. <laughs> yeah. So I think it's Tuesday, December, or Wednesday, December 28th, 2016. Okay. About how to use ozone um, in, in your you know, for your health and it's a free webinar. So. Oh, good to know. Yeah. It's for people uh, who are interested. Yeah. You know, I mean, these things are helping people. Uh, we got a iTunes review. Tell me. M underscore C, a fantastic okay. show. It's helped me bring my health awareness to higher levels, great interviews and a tremendous range of topics covered. Cool. You rock extreme health radio. Oh, that's awesome. Right on. Uh, and then another one info dash user says, what a rich, personable and insightful journey into modern health and achievement really enjoying feeling part of their journey to the limit of in health these guys these guys are what's needed in medicine kudos oh, that's cool so How nice yeah if you guys want to help us out uh we need to get as many itunes reviews as we can so um head on over there and do that for us if you can pick up your pen pick up your pen <laughs> or a mouse not a pineapple or keyboard <laughs> Uh, but I want to uh, also thank Carlin Brooks. Go, Carlin. Yeah. I, um, you just spoke with her. How long did you speak with her on the phone the other day? Maybe a half hour, 40 minutes. She's, she's cool. Can I say kick ass? I can say anything she's I want. Anything she's you want. She's a kick ass chick. Let me tell you. Yeah. She, tell people she has an amazing thing going on in New York. Yeah. So I think she may be expanding into LA. Why do I think oh, she's got Oh, I don't know about that. Brooks in LA, no? No. Okay. I don't think so. So if you live in New York, uh, is it like. In the in the city, kind of. Yeah, it's in Manhattan. I think she has two or three juice trucks. Is it mysqueezebox dot com? Is that no. her address? Well, no. her email is no, the website associated it. with her email is the squeeze juice. Oh, that's right. The squeeze juice dot com. Okay, let me bring this. And up. she just was a, our newest Patreon or patron. So thank you. Yeah, thanks, Carlin. Carlin. Check out what she's got going on. If anybody's in New York, dude, look for her truck. Yeah, the, the squeezejuice.com. Squeeze juice. Let me go there right now. Yeah, it's rad. And you can, so what is the deal? You can, her, can you order and her truck will come to she you? She has food. She or has is it like, juice. She has elixirs, boosters, cleanses. Well, they have grass fed. I know. Wait, look at no. this. Yeah. I love this. The best fucking juice ever. I know. <laughs> <laughs> just, she's fun. She's hilarious. Oh my gosh. I love her. But they, it's all vegan, right? Right. Well, no, I think she's vegan. But I don't know if it, it's vegan. Let's see, plant fuel. Okay, let me see on her homepage. You can check her out by going to the squeezejuice.com. But vegan burger and bowl bar. Okay, there you go. This is grass fed for real. She's cool. A New York City native, she graduated from NYU with degrees in broadcast journalism and nutrition, and received her culinary arts training at the Natural Gourmet Institute. She has worked at ABC News as a freelance producer and owns a movie location company for Hollywood Productions looking to shoot in the Empire State. She's a former model, a dedicated lifetime vegan, and runs a distressed animal rescue operation. How cool is that? Wow. She's an eco-warrior, and she's been on the forefront of the fight for the planet and has dedicated her life to the well-being and health of everyone and everything in her wonderful but troubled world. She's awesome. They show her just sticking a... If you look at that, this is cool. Sticking a straw in a coconut, just drinking it straight out of the Oh, thing. nice. She's cool. She's beautiful. She's lovely. I really value what she's doing, so check her out and support her, and I think... um I think she's just up to some new things. So, yeah, if you live in that area in New York City or in Manhattan or anywhere on the East Coast, and um, check out the squeezejuice dot com, and maybe I don't know, maybe you can order from her, or yeah. her trucks will come by or something. But thanks, Carlin, for that. That's huge. And check out somebody's getting a sauna. Oh, thanks, did we just thanks, sell? Evelyn. Evelyn's gonna get her sauna before oh, did Christmas she just order or one? after Christmas, but she'll be so happy. Oh, nice. Okay, awesome. I see that. I love when people get things just because I know how much I love our sauna. I get so excited for people because they have no idea oh, Evelyn just how ordered, amazing yeah. they are. 
Yeah. Right on. I'm stoked for her. That's great. So, Evelyn, if you're hearing this, please send us an email and tell us how you love it. Yeah, she's from Texas. That's it's amazing. awesome. Amazing. Amazing. Wow. How yeah, fun. Good for her. I'm, I'm excited she got that. Me too. We've been going back and forth with Evelyn for a while. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I've told her, it's funny because she was asking about the, um, the you know, should I get a sauna? Or she re- really, really, um, after listening to the interview with um, Marcus again, Marcus, she wanted to know about the ozone generator. Because mm-hmm. with Marcus's ozone generator, uh, you l- listen to that interview. I really am really hot on this, what, what he's doing because you're hot on him. I'm hot on Marcus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Marcus. <laughs> I have nothing wrong with that. That's okay. A man crush. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was trying to think of. As long crush. as you don't act on it. <laughs> I was thinking about bro something. What do you call it? Like bro. Um, oh yeah. Your bromance. Yeah. Bromance. That's mm-hmm. right. Um, no, but he, uh, you know, his ozone, if you listen to the episode, it's episode 490 with Marcus. And what's really cool about what he's doing is that it's like a turnkey system. So you order the ozone generator and he gives you all the attachments, the bags, the oxygen, all the little accessories that go with it. He, it's all set up for you. It, it's all set up for you and you have training videos that comes with this, like an all-in-one system where it's cheap, it's easy, it takes less than five minutes a day to use it. Yep. And the benefits are just incredible. And so I've heard for so long about ozone this, ozone that, and then I keep thinking like, Okay, how do I do it? What kind of ozone generator to buy? Where do I get the oxygen? Is the oxygen, you know, medical grade oxygen or is it 97% or is it 99%? Right, right. How often do I have to fill it up? How often do I have to use it? What are the protocols for different ailments? All this stuff. It's just boom. Marcus has everything in, in like a turnkey thing. Like yeah. you just buy it. Boom. Um, and boom. so it's, I think it's about a thousand bucks. Right. For this whole thing. It ain't cheap, but you're not having to piecemeal stuff together and have the wonder about like, are we doing it right? Or it's pretty, it's pretty, it's all done for you. Right. No questions. And, uh, and so Evelyn was going, I was going back and forth with her and trying to figure out which would be best for her symptoms. Um, and then she mentioned, you know, maybe I should just get the sauna because it is on sale now. And, uh, right now it's going to be on sale. We're not sure how much longer, but, um, it's going up by $100 uh, June Janu- January, January 1st. January 1st, That's yeah. That's like in a week. Yeah. A week and two days. Woo. So if you want to get one, I'd highly recommend because if you buy it now, the sale price, is, it's $150 off. So I think it's a 940 the 940 or, not, or 945 Right. But it's 940 and then, um, but really it's $150 off right now. And then it's going to go up by another. So it's two hundred fifty dollars off if you get it now versus January first. Okay. So so if people want to take advantage of, it, I don't think it's ever going to be able to be on sale. No, that good again, right? Yeah, we'll never do a a um, a, a sale for two hundred fifty dollars off. That's that's huge. Okay. So anyway, I was telling I was telling Evelyn, um, Evelyn, and she responded back saying, you know, maybe I should get it just because the sun is on sale now. And I wrote back to her and I said, oh my gosh, I completely forgot. Like I, I didn't even realize that. I was just trying to find the best thing for her. Right. And then she went ahead and made that decision. So that was cool. That's cool. Yeah. I, that's the thing. I mean, if people honestly want to know. We weren't going to tell her. Like, We talked about it yesterday. Like, can you write us back an email with your list of things and we can try to help you make a better decision based off what we know to be true about these products. But, yeah, yeah. you know, we could have, I told you, I'm like, we're not scammers. We could have told her to order the more expensive thing, you know, mm-hmm. and, but it's like, what, what's really going to help people? It's not about making a dollar. And that's where I get bummed out when people think that we're just all about sales or commercials or whatever, you know, yeah. like who cares? I know. I just want people whatever. to find what whatever it is that's going to help them. Me you know? too. So I'm so stoked for her. That's awesome. Yeah. Really cool. Really, really cool. Um, let's see. I'll read a couple questions and we'll call it a day. All right. How about that. I don't want to call it a day, but I got to go to work. Yeah. Got to go to my fake job, as your dad calls it. <laughs> <laughs> Bailey O'Brien says, which, by the way, if you want to listen to a really great show with Bailey O'Brien, do you know what episode that was? That we uh, had not offhand. Let me try and find it. Bailey O'Brien wrote in. Let's see. Bailey. Oh, I loved her. She was such a cool guest. Oh she my gosh. Cool, yeah. I really did love her. That was episode 446. And talk about a story of skin cancer of her. Who? That was. That's a worth a listen, guys. Yeah, that was crazy. But uh, so she says, Hey, Justin, I love your interview with Marcus. So interesting. Thank you so much for all the info. Have a beautiful Christmas and New Year and happy belated birthday. God bless Bailey. Nice. Thank that was you. nice. Yeah, happy yeah. belated birthday. It's still your birthday month. My birthday month. <laughs> uh, Ilrike, how do you say this? U L R I K E. 
Ulrike? Sure. I wish I... Yeah, your your guess is as good as mine. Ulrike? Cool dear, name. Dear Justin, I wrote you this private message on Facebook Messenger, but thought it would be uh, good also an email. And yes, by the way, everyone, it is best to write me an email. You have a higher chance of me being able to get back to you um, by doing emails versus Facebook Messenger or on our phone line. Um, you don't even check the phone line, do you? <laughs> yeah, rarely, rarely. You know. um, email is just... It's better to have a a track, you know, I can track it better. Yeah, that's um, he, true. He says, hi there. I absolutely love your shows and podcasts. Thank you so much for educating us and helping us take responsibility for our own health. I remember hearing in a podcast that Monsanto bought Solgar. Okay. Was what that is that? On one of your podcasts. I don't remember where I heard it and wanted to send a friend a link to it. Would appreciate it if you could let me know. Many blessings. Thank you for reading this. Regards. Uh, Do you I remember that? Well, Bayer bought Monsanto. Bayer, right. But maybe he means Bayer? What did he say? Sol- Solgar. I don't know. I never what that heard is. of Solgar. Yeah. Maybe he knows more than we do. Maybe Solgar owns Bayer that owns <laughs> Monsanto. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that owns Tylenol. Yeah. Okay. One one final email from Susan. That owns our house <laughs> that we run from. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Susan from Sydney, Sydney, Australia, my home away from home, my second home. That's right. Hi, Justin, Kate. Love, love, love your podcast, except laughing out loud. I was listening to episode 489, Fred Van Lu. Now I am an extremely open-minded person, and I managed to get to 47 minutes. I love she gave the actual 47 minutes, 35 seconds, (laughs) uh, minutes into it. Every time you mentioned prayer and God and getting rid of past trauma and demons from your DNA, et cetera, I just could not take it anymore. Next time you have a podcast on structure of water, et cetera, could you please have Gerald Pollack on, please? Uh, Susan, this just is my response to that. Uh, we've already reached out to Gerald Pollock and we are working on him. So cool. Hold tight. Cool. Uh, don't get me wrong. I don't mind religious people, but keep your beliefs out of the podcast, Mr. Lou, Ooh. and deliver on what people have tuned in to listen to. Honestly, when- which is water. I know, right? <laughs> Some people say God is water. I know. I've heard that too. Honestly, when he started saying that you should. You should say a prayer over water. I nearly had a brain explosion. <laughs> Not good for my health. Ha, ha, ha. I <laughs> <You> think. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, if your brain explodes, it might not be so good. Okay, whatever. Whenever I hear this guy's name again, I'm not even giving it a second oh. of my precious time. Oh, she really didn't like that Don't, one. don't, don't. Give me Jack Cruz anytime. I love and Jack Gerald Cruz. Pollack. Interesting. Okay, see you guys. Take care. Susan from Sydney. Well, that was nice. Yeah, I get it. everybody can have an opinion. However, you and I talked about it when we saw that, though. We're like, I I totally understand, and it's cool. People can write in whatever, but I thought, gosh, like, if you watch Emo, who Masuro Emotu or whatever his name is, yeah, structure or Secret Life of Water or whatever, yeah, the hidden book, messages in water. There you go. Yeah, uh, mixing documentaries, Secret but, Life of Plants. But my gosh, like praying over water and the spiritual aspect of water, I just think there's so much we don't know. So I think there's something yeah. in there that I kind of think it's cool he touched on the spirituality of that. Mm-hmm. But Susan from Sydney, I love you. Thank you for listening, but I disagree with you. Oh. I pray over my food. And I and she wrote subsequently in an email back to me um, about how she's an atheist and has been since birth. And, oh, and that's right. fine. Right. Um, and, you know, there's no big deal. Like if you don't, if you don't, like a per- certain guest, you don't have to listen to any of the shows. Totally. Um, but I happen to believe there's a lot more going on, regardless of what your religious affiliation is, um, that's going on with what's holding all of this stuff together. Mm-hmm. Um, and I pray over my food. I pray over my water. I thank the animals that gave their life. If we eat animal food, I thank the plants for giving up their lives. Um you know, yeah, I'm with you on that one, but yeah, but again, that's fine. Like that, that's fine if that's her belief, and I, I, I think it's interesting. At least she gave it into 47 minutes before she. I mean, she heard some good information out of it. Mm-hmm. So that's yeah, that's the beauty of these shows. They are free, so if people don't like them, they can just stop where they want. And yep. but yeah, I think there's something beautiful about about praying over everything that we consume. Just I feel like on a spiritual level, it, it changes things. But yeah, I think that's so my too. own. You know, I, like she has her opinion, that's mine, but. Yeah, I'm I'm that way too. Uh, cool. And we have had Dr. Cruz on multiple times. Uh, I love Jack Susan. Cruz. Yeah, he's really cool. Yeah, we need to have him on again. And uh, Gerald I think he's Pollock. brothers with Tom. Tom Cruise. Can we get Tom on our show. <laughs> Does Tom Cruise spell his name the same way? No. K R U S. No. C R U Z. Doesn't that sound like it's a very uh, fabricated? Oh gosh. Name doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 
And Gerald Pollack, he wrote a book called The Fourth Phase of Water. So you know how water has... Uh, not Arnold Palmer. And not Arnold Palmer, Gerald Pollack. Gerald Pollack. The um, Fourth Phase of Water? Yeah, like a gas, a liquid, and a solid. Mm-hmm. Well, there's apparently a fourth phase of water. What does he say it is? I don't know what it is. Oh. So we'll have to look. So we have it. reached out to him? Yeah. In fact, he wrote me back. I need to get back to him. About oh, cool. On the show, so Susan, so. we might be able to get him on for you. Stay tuned. And in the meantime, Susan, you can listen to our shows with Jack, Jack Cruz. Cruz. To your heart's content. Nice. Mr. Jack Cruz. All right. We need to get you out of here. I got to peace out, everybody. Merry Christmas if we don't talk to you guys until after that. And uh, Happy New Year. Are you and I going to be doing a free for all once a week? I think we should. Yeah, I've been yeah. trying. It's my work schedule. You want to do it once a week? You're putting me on the spot now. You're making me commit to the masses. Well, we don't have to. We can do it a couple times. No, a I month. would like to. I would like to do it. But okay. It might not be on a Friday, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do it. We'll get one one a week. Okay. Let's do it. Well, well, we'll see. We'll That's see. The plan right now. But people are wondering where you went, and I want people to know that you're not gone. I'm not gone, and I man, I'd love to be on more if I can. So, at, well, people like Carlin, thank you for your patronage. I'm. Going to if more people do that along the way, I'll be able to go come back to this full time. So. Right, right, right. Thanks, guys. I am alive. I am. I am continuing to be better with my health, and it's just I've been busy with taking my fake job during the day. So, mm-hmm. yep. Can't wait. I'm gonna peace out. You can wrap up. All right, guys. Okay. Uh, thank you for listening. We appreciate it so much. Uh, don't forget to check out our store if you're interested in any kind of unique health products um, that we have to offer. If you're interested in that. Uh, if you want to sign up to our newsletter list, uh, that's a really cool way to stay up to date with all of our shows, too. Uh, we do. <laughs> Charlie, you're okay. She did not know. Kate and Maggie left the room. Charlie woke up in a stupor. Um, but yeah, if you want to keep up to date with everything we have going on, uh, you can do that easily by texting the word get healthy to 33444. And that way you can do that right on your cell phone there. Um, it is get healthy. The 33444, and you can sign up to our newsletter. We we'll send you some really cool bonuses, an ebook, an audio program I, I put together for you guys, so you can check that out. Um, thank you guys also for purchasing through our Amazon link. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate that. Um, that's a great way to support the show, and you don't have to do anything other than go through our link. Everything remains the same on your end, so the prices don't go up. There's no difference. You just end up on Amazon, uh, but we get a little commission for your order, so appreciate that a lot. Um, your support via your Amazon purchases are massive and uh, don't think that it doesn't help because it does. So thanks for bookmarking and using our link every time you make a purchase. That's really amazing. Um, And also thank you guys for sharing our shows and stuff on Facebook when you see them. Um, We really appreciate that. That helps us get the word out to more people and um, empower more people to take control of their health. So that's what we're all about here. Love you guys. Uh, Let us know... Kate just yells in for the...